Hey guys, I'm Roger Roger Gaming, and I'm your coach for the Las Vegas Corp Knights. Uh, we are here for a week five matchup. We are currently three and one, and let's get into our team builder. All right, so this is my opponent's team. He has an Alakazam, a very hard hitting special mon, but is pretty frail on the physical side. He has Tenacruel, a water poison type that's very bulky and can take a pretty good amount of hits. Uh, from our team. Uh, Steelix, a very bulky mon as well, who is able to be very good. Uh, he's known for, I'm expecting him to bring a uh, iron defense uh, body press set, which can do a number to our team. Uh, his Scrafty is an intimidate user uh, and is very good with its dark and fighting type. Can be very threatening uh, for our team. His Clefairy, I'm not really anticipating him to bring uh, just because I think we have good counters to it. His Crocodile, I do anticipate him to bring. Uh, it being a great ground and dark type. Uh, I think ground is really good against our team. And him also being an Intimidate user can put us back a lot. Um, Dustclops, I 100% expect him to bring. It can live pretty much any hit from all of our mons. And can turn around and hit us with a Poltergeist and do a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, I'm not anticipating him to bring his Ore Beetle. I just don't think it's great against our team. And we have, like, Corv Knight that's an answer to it. And our uh, Dermanitan, which can do a number to it. Among Us, I'm not anticipating to bring as well. As our Dermanitan and um, Corv Knight do a tremendous amount to it. And as Vespa Quinn, again, I don't anticipate him to bring. Alright, so we are not bringing our Vanillux this week. I just didn't think Ice was great against this team. Uh, I didn't think... Jolteon was good as well. Um, Skuntank, I just, I also didn't think was great. With him having a Scrafty that is able to hit us super effectively, uh, I didn't think that was great. And then, uh, lastly, we did not bring our Gastron, as his Among Us uh, could have put us in a bad spot, as we are four times weak to it. Our first Mon is going to be Hatterene, the Mad Hatter. Um, we are rocking a more offensive set with Draining Kiss, Shadow Ball, Psychic, uh, uh, Mystical Fire. Mystical Fire allows us to hit things like Among Us uh, that are, and lower their special attack, which can be useful, especially it can also be useful against a Focus Sash Alakazam as we're able to hit it, lower its special attack, and then uh, hit it, and then it can't hit as hard, and then we can hit it with like a Shadow Ball and do some great damage. Draining Kiss does an absolute tremendous amount to um, Scrafty, and we are able to uh, gain health. So we'll, we should be able to regain as much health as he does to us, allowing us to 1v1 it, which is great. And yeah, let's get into our next mod. Dermanitan absolutely goes nutty here. Our Flare Blitz, uh, two shots his entire, one or two shots his entire team, which is great. And we outspeed his entire team. Uh, trick is for the um, Dusclops. It can be a bit of a problem, depending on the move it goes. So we can trick it our Choice Scarf and absolutely uh, decimate it in the sense that he won't be able to do what he wants to and uh, switch around its movement and stuff. And yeah, and you turn just to be a fast pivot. Corviknight, again, we are bringing an offensive set. This set can be very good against his um, Steelix, depending on what he brings. Uh, also, it can be good against a variety of his mons. Bulk Up, Brave Bird, Iron Head, and Roost. Uh, Bulk Up allows us to gain our attack and defense go up a stage uh, which makes Brave Bird hit like an absolute truck and Roost allows us to recover some of the damage that we were dealt and Iron Head uh, just for overall coverage. Alright and Terrakion with his choice ban. Uh, we wanted a really hard hitting Mon and Terrakion filled that role this week. Uh, with his choice ban x absolutely decimates Alakazam. Poison Jab decimates Clefairy and uh, Close Combat just decimates Scrafty, and Earthquake does a number on his uh, other mons, especially his uh, Crocodile. Uh, our Corsola is here specifically for his Steelix. Uh, I mentioned in earlier that the uh, Iron Defense Body Press set can be very hard, uh, challenging for a team to deal with. Corsola absolutely shuts that set down. Uh, we can do a tremendous amount to it with Earth Power, and it cannot hit us at all with its body press. So, uh, Strength Sap also allows us to lower other Pokemon's attacks 
and regain health by doing so. Psychic can be very good, and Shadow Ball is there for the Alakazam as well. Alright. Our final mon is Gudra. Uh, rocking its Assault Vest. This mon absolutely can live any hit that our opponent goes for. And uh, we can do a tremendous amount back. Draco Meteor does a number to his team. Thunderbolt, two shots the Tentacruel. Flamethrower, two shots the uh, Steelix. Sludge Wave, I believe, two shots the Clefairy. And the Clefairy does not do much to us. And it, it just does a tremendous amount to pretty much everything that hits the field. So, uh, yeah. And uh, they can't do too much to us. So that it's a great mod this week. And uh, I will see you guys into the battle. My opponent brought a team that I was expecting. Um, he, I'm going to lead my Germanitan. I, I'm going to just Flare Blitz this thing. And he leads his Dusclops. He sees that we're Choice Scarfed, which uh, I anticipated... I think he probably would have anticipated. We do a tremendous amount to this thing. I'm going to just Flare Blitz again. And if he wants to switch, that's great on him. But this thing is a really big threat. Unfortunately, he toxics, uh, ticks, uh, toxics us. Which allows us to be put on a timer. Making us a little less effective. But um, we are still able to do a tremendous amount to him. Scrafty is going to intimidate us. And we are able to just hit him again with a Flobus. This is probably going to do a little less than half. We do 41%. I'm going to just go straight into Corviknight. Uh, we should be able to live any hit he wants to go for, and we can turn around and hit him with a uh, Brave Bird, which is going to sh uh, kill him. So yeah. He goes for the knockoff, which is going to remove our life orb, which kind of sucks, but uh, we should still be able to do a tremendous amount of damage to him. Um, and then he's going to go as Dusclops on our Brave Bird, which isn't a big deal, uh, as we are able to two-shot his Dusclops, and uh, I'm going to just stay in and do that, as it is a very big threat for our team, and I can always roost on Corviknight later in the match. So, uh, we get rid of Dusclops, which is a big threat here. He is able to go into his Steelix, is what I'm anticipating. He does go with Steelix. I'm going to go straight into my Crusilla, as it is able to, uh, in case he starts setting up, we are able to handle this thing 1v1. And he does go for the Body Press, which we are immune. And I'm going to just go for the Earth Power. He can switch if he wants uh, into whatever. He goes to Scrafty, which was a good move. Um... I'm going to switch right back into my Corviknight because he's going to want to hit me with a Dark type move. And Corviknight can take that no problem and j deal a tremendous amount of damage back in return. So, yeah. So Corviknight is our play here. We can, uh, he's going to go for the knockoff again in my best guess. He does. Uh, we take that no problem. And we can just go for a solid roost here. Which, uh... Allows us to get regain, make regain our health, and uh, basically take on the Steelix. I'm pretty sure we are able to one v one this thing, so I'm gonna just go for the bulk up and start um, going for game pretty much. Uh, bulk up. So I anticipate him to be iron defense. So I'm gonna bulk up one more time. So we're just evil even on the defensive plane. His crunch does absolutely nothing to us, and yeah. He goes for the body press. Again, it does not do much to us. And I can roost off this damage in a little bit. And he goes his Alakazam on my bulk up. I should be able to live any hit this Alakazam goes for. And I can return it uh, and kill it with a Brave Bird. So yeah, that is our plan. We're going to go straight for the Brave Bird. We live the hit, no problem. And we are able to kill it with a Brave Bird. Unfortunately, we are going to knock ourselves out in the process. Which is fine. Um, I can go my Terrakion, because we have pretty much something for everything on his team, and, uh, Earthquake is looking really good. I'm gonna just, uh, go in my Terrakion and click Earthquake. If he wants to go Scrafty, uh, or Scrafty, rather, that's great on him, but, again, we're weakening, weakening down that Scrafty, uh, to be allowed to basically take it on later in the match and be closer to killing it. So, yeah, we're gonna do 24% to the Scrafty. Which is pretty good. 
Uh, I can go straight into my Hatterene, depending on what this thing wants to do, and we should be able to live any hit. Uh, I anticipate him to go for a Drain Punch, which we four times resist. So he does do that, and I can just go for the Draining Kiss. Uh, he probably is going to switch into Tentacruel, just to minimize that, but we can also just, I'm going to just, uh, stay in on the Tentacruel, and, which he does go Tentacruel, uh, and go for a Psychic, which should do a tremendous amount of damage to him, and we should be able to live any hit he goes for. Uh, potentially two, depending on what he goes for. He goes for the Sludge Wave and gets the crit, which really sucks, because we should have been able to live two, potentially. Um... So we're, I'm going to just sack my Hatterene here, and uh, then we'll be able to go into our another Mon that should be able to put his team in a pretty decent spot. Um, Gujra is probably a good play here. So I go that. I can kill it with a Thunderbolt, and I don't believe it's going to do too much to me. Yeah, it does barely anything. Uh, and I Thunderbolt should be able to just finish it off uh, with two shots. So yeah. Yeah, we're this is a great exchange for us as we are able to just kill his Tentacruel, a very big defensive mon, uh, which allows our Darmanitan to just go in pretty much. Um, and he still has a Steelix, unfortunately, which he's going to go into. I should be able to two-shot this thing with Flamethrower and uh, live whatever he has for me. So yeah, I, I'm definitely two-shotting it, um, and he goes for the body press that does a pretty big amount of damage to us, but we get the gooey ability, even though, but we were faster beforehand, so I can flamethrower him and kill him, so that is another mon out of the way, and we are looking pretty good. I anticipate him to probably go his uh, crocodile. And I'm going to sack Spyro here and see what this mon wants to go for. I can finish this game up with my Terrakion. Um, and I should be able to kill. So I just have to go for a close combat here and I should be able to knock out both of his mons. Uh, unfortunately, he is Scarfed as that is the only way he can outspeed us. So I just need to go into my Darm. And uh, hit the Flare Blitz, and I will be able to kill this Crocodile. As I'm designed to outspeed a Scarfed Crocodile. Alright, so I go for the Flare Blitz. I one-shot him, which is great. Uh, but I should be able to also kill whatever his... Um, I should be able to kill his Scrafty on this turn. And do well. Unfortunately, I make a huge misplay here, and I do not notice the Intimidate. I completely forgot he was Intimidate, and I am able not able to kill him because of it. I should have switched into my Cursula there, uh, which would have killed. He would have killed, and I should have been able to come in into Darmanitan and kill his Scrafty. Uh, because of my misplay, we are going to lose, as my Cursula cannot live a hit from Scrafty. Uh, he one-shots me 100% of the time with his knockoff. So that's going to be the game. We're going to lose 1-0. Um, and we are currently 3-2. and two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.